Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I said to you yesterday um, in our devotion that we were starting Bible school with the church um, yesterday. And so we did last night uh, from 6 to 8. Uh, I and uh, a few other men are working with the recreation department uh, why me it's because they just needed to help i guess but anyhow um my prayer is that those kids that come will hear something that the world won't freely teach them of course and that they will hear that there is someone who loves them who cares for them and they will hear the story of jesus some maybe for the first time i know yesterday uh, the Bible verse that uh, they used was from the book of Psalm in chapter 56. So I'm going to read there today. Psalm 56, David says, Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me. O thou most high, what time I am afraid I will trust in thee. That is Psalm 56, 3. David says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Now, um, back a uh, good many years ago, when all of our grandchildren were just smaller, my wife taught them that. And, of course, that's King James Version there. Uh, and that's what we uh, would read in the church. But uh, they were so small, she said, she taught them, what time I am afraid, I will trust in Jesus. They, she wanted them to know who thee was. And uh, she wanted them to know that, uh, that, she could, that they could trust in the Lord. And so they learned that from the times that they were just small. And uh, my heart would go out to them thinking that uh, when they are really afraid, if they could just call out on him that's the whole purpose of of knowing him of coming into relationship with him if you today uh, maybe even as an adult you don't know him uh, or maybe today when you face your fears if you could just understand that the time you're afraid no matter what it is that brings fear to you the perfect love cast out all fear the scripture says now it does not to say that you're perfect but the love of god is perfect and to take that fear and to take the fear of death to take the fear of a life after this life to take those fears away uh, that only comes from him so what time i am afraid i will trust in thee it was good for david it's good for me it's good for you and today um they sang this song towards the end there of bible school and one of the little girls looked at me. She wanted to know what the name of that song was. I think she was maybe wanting to uh, sing it again or look it up maybe and, and find out. But sometimes we think that songs that we sing in church are common, but not everybody attends. And so they're not common to everybody. So, um, so it was a good little song last night. I don't have all the words of it to me uh, in front of me, but, uh, but we'll make them up as we go, right? He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little bitty baby in his hands. He's got the little bitty baby in his hands. He's got the little bitty baby in his hands. He's got the whole world 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 in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. In his hand, he's got the wind and the rain. In his 
his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole wide world in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole looking at me last night when I was singing along with that um just I wondered what was going through her mind um uh, some people may feel as if that that's a song that only children would sing but uh, he does have the whole world in his hands some people say well if there is a god why is there so much turmoil and so much trouble and so much trial and strife and death and sickness and if that question is truly yours, you may not, you may not accept of the answer that I feel like the Word of God gives. In the book of Genesis, in the book of beginnings, God said to Adam and Eve, the day you eat of that tree, you will surely die. So it was not his intention that they would, and he knew that turmoil would follow. They did not know that they would even have children. He knew that not only they would have children, but one of their children would kill or murder their other child. And he knew that when those kind of things began, that they would not stop. And so, before the foundation of the world, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That was something he set up when he said, let us make man in our image. He knew that man would fall, but he made a way for forgiveness. He's got the whole world in his hands. Forgiveness only comes through and by him. My prayer is this week, if there are adults that won't take it, my prayer is, is that the little children will take it and it will be a seed planted in them that they can grow. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. I pray that you would bless those, Lord, that watch this today. Encourage and strengthen them, Lord. Give them the help they have need of in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you back here on Wednesday.